this video, I will show you how to effectively monitor and manage your organization's credit usage. To find an overview of your credit usage, you should navigate to the Organization tab. Here you will see a summary of your credits, such as the total remaining credits and usage over a 30-day and 24-hour period. To get more in-depth information on your usage, select View Status. In the status screen, you can find a breakdown of your credit storage and other information such as content and groups. There are a variety of ways in which you can monitor your credit usage. One way of doing this is by generating reports. Here, I can run a single report on a credit usage in my organization, or alternatively, I can set up a schedule for reports to run at a specified time. Once I've confirmed my report, it will run in the pending section and will appear in the list once complete. When complete, you can then navigate to and download the selected report. On the status screen for credits, you can also check the organization's credit usage by type. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you can interact with a chart that has a breakdown of credit amounts. If you investigate this further, you can identify credit consuming items on ArcGIS Online. This information can be valuable in determining the largest data sets and flag up items that may no longer be needed. Anything that is no longer needed on ArcGIS Online can be deleted to free up space and save credits. A great way to limit your credit usage is to set credit allocations on a per user basis. To do this, you should navigate to the Organization tab and select a member subheading. Here you can select the user you would like to limit and select Manage Credits. You can now set a credit allocation for the user or choose to set no limit. This allocation will prohibit the user from completing credit consuming tasks when at their credit limit. Lastly, you can create custom member roles to control user access and credit consuming activities. In the settings page, navigate to the member role tab to find and customize your role. When you create a role, you can define a name and a description and define specific privileges for the role. Here, for example, I can navigate to premium content and only select the credit consuming tasks needed for the user. By disabling the likes of network analysis and geocoding, I can potentially save the use of credits. If at any stage your organization requires more credits, contact your account manager who is always at hand to help. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.